This is 2.6 through 2.8, the first and second derivative test. So basically there are two tests that we can use to find if a function has any local extrema, in other words a local max or a local min. And it just follows with what we were doing before where we would find the derivative, set it equal to zero, and solve. So that's finding our critical points. And we're going to need to use those steps for both the first and the derivative both the first and second derivative tests. So the instructions for the first derivative test are um, posted in that yellow box. Um, and it looks pretty simple, but we're going to go through an example and see that uh, it might not be as cut and dry as, it, as that little yellow box. It's not terribly difficult, um, but I've listed it you know, as steps, and there are several steps. And then I'm going to do the work in the box in the right. So we're going to start by taking the derivative. Well, that would be negative 6x squared plus 60x minus 126. And to find the critical points, I would um, set that equal to 0 and solve. And it's a quadratic equation, so you can use your quadratic formula in the calculator. And we get x equals 3 and x equals 7. So those are our critical points. We're going to make a number line, and we're going to plot those two critical points. So 3 and 7. And then it, we can see that the interval is divided into three pieces now because there's two critical points. So we need to pick a test point before the three, between the three and the seven, and after the seven. So let's say we pick zero, four, and eight. And if we plug, um, this you'll probably want to use your graphing calculator for, but what you want to do is scoot this up a little bit. Find f prime of 0, f prime of 4, and f prime of 8. So if you put the function in, the, in your y1, like you're going to graph it, then you can go to table and you can put the values 0, 4, and 8 in, and the calculator will get those for you quickly. So I get that we get a negative 126 for f of prime of 0, and f prime of 4 is 18, and f prime of 8 is negative 30. Since it's a negative number that we get for that one, that tells me that the function's decreasing on that interval. So from negative infinity to 3, we're decreasing. Since the f prime of 4 is positive, we know we're increasing on that interval. So from 3 to 7, we're increasing. And f prime of 8 is negative 30. Uh, again, we're going to be decreasing. So from 7 to positive infinity, we're decreasing. So now if you go back to that yellow box, um, it might make more sense. It says that if we're changing from increasing to decreasing, like we are right here at the critical point 3, we have, um, so decrease, we have a minimum, a local minimum. And if we are going from increasing, changing from increasing to decreasing, then that gives us a local maximum at that point. So um, let's go to the next page. All right, so um, again, we get that F prime of 0 is negative 126 
f prime of 4 is 18. So this is step 4. And f prime of 8 is negative 30. So from my picture on the previous page there, um, we're going to get that the um, intervals in which it's increasing or decreasing, well, it's going to be increasing um, on that interval between 3 and 7. So increasing 3 to 7. It's decreasing from negative infinity to 3. And, so union, 7 to infinity. So uh, we know where it's changing is where we're going to have a min or max. And it's changing from going uh, for decrease and increasing at the critical point 3. So we have a minimum at x equals 3. And likewise, we have a max at x equals 7. And now to actually find the maximum, we want to plug those values into the original function. In other words, we want to find f of 3. That's our minimum, and f of 7 is our maximum. So I get negative 153 and negative 89. So just to clarify, this is the min, and this is the max. Now for the second derivative test. So the second derivative test um, probably will seem a little easier than the first derivative test. And it may or may not be depending on the function that you're given. Um, but we're going to start by dry, drawing some smiley faces that are going to help us with the second derivative test. So if our, plus, or if our eyes are plus signs, then we're smiling. And we see at the bottom of that smile, we would have a minimum. If our eyes are minus signs, then we're frowning, but we, at the top of our frown, is a maximum. And that relates to um, the second derivative test, where it says if f double prime is less than zero, if f double prime of c is less than zero, then f is concave down and has a local max at x equals c. If f double prime of c is greater than 0, then f is concave up and has a local min at x equals c. So that's what the um, smiley faces are about. If your second derivative is positive, you have a min. If your second derivative is negative, you have a max. Let's try it out. All right, so we still need to um, take the derivative, find the critical points, etc. Um, so this derivative is going to be 6x squared minus 3 times, um, or 39 times 2, which is 78x, negative 78x, um, plus 216. All right, if we set that equal to 0 and solved it, again, it's a quadratic, um, you should get that x equals 9 and x equals 4 by using that quadratic um, formula in the calculator. The second derivative is going to be 12x minus 78. So if we plug 9 into the second derivative, so f double prime of 9, we get 12 times 9 minus 78. All I need to know is that it's going to, whether it's going to be positive or negative, and that's going to be positive, meaning we have a minimum at x equals 9. And now I'm going to plug in 4. So 12 times 4, which is 48, minus 78. Uh, we know that's going to be negative, so we have a max. Um, at x equals 4. 
Um, now the one step that I neglected to put in here, um, but we do need to do it, is the same last step as the first derivative test. We now need to put 9 into the original function and 4 into the original function to get what the actual min and max are. f of 9 happens to be 247 and that's our min. And f of 4 is 372. That's our max. Um, you can also put it in, um, well you have to pay attention to how the question is worded, but typically it's okay to put it in um, an ordered pair form. So 9, 247 gives you the where and the what the min are. And 4, 372 gives you the when, where and the what the max are, the maxes.